What is going on, everybody? Today, we are exploring this Stage 3 Village Node that is hidden right in front of me. That is sitting right in front of me. This node is Kalar Human Designed and is Stage 3. And we're going to go inside. We're going to look at some of the features. I don't have enough money to do everything in here yet, but... You know, we're going to explore the node and see how it feels. So, keep in mind that this is a very early iteration of the node. It's just getting the core systems in place to teach you how exactly they work in the game. There's going to be many different contributing factors to how a node is laid out and how they look and all of that depending on where they are in the world, depending on the type of node, whether they're a military node, a scientific node, a divine node, or an economic node. There's so many things that are gonna pull into these. So like, this is just your core basic node. It gives you a little bit of housing, it gives you a little bit of the town hall and vendors and things like that. But keep in mind, this is not a final node. And obviously as they level up, they're gonna change too. This one again is stage three. But over here, we have the Caravan Master. I could take off, walk for a second. So, it actually looks like caravans don't actually work right now. They're disabled. But they're a buggy rendition worked in a previous test. But they're still really buggy. So we're coming to here, this little town square thing over here. Where we have all sorts of NPCs. We got this crude armor smith over here that sells different types of armor. Well, it doesn't sell armor. It just shows you how to make different types of armor. So if you go down here to some level 9 gear that requires some ores and some schematics and all that. You then have this alchemic genius who, you know, he sells stuff. I'm going to sell some stuff right now. Boom, 300 gold. And I'm going to get a, oh, it's 2,000 gold. I don't have gold for that. Let's actually let's sell this too. I'm going to buy a steel pickaxe. No, I'm not. I don't have enough money for a steel pickaxe either. Jeez. I'm going to buy an iron pickaxe again. And then i got to buy a new axe because I sold my other axe. But yeah, so there are all these vendors here. There's the armor smith, which unfortunately you can't like preview the armor yet. That, I'm sure, will come down the road, but then you got a stable master, sells all kinds of mounts in here that are like 500 gold. So these mounts, like, mounts aren't just going to be like this. A lot of these right now are cosmetic skins from the pre-order package. There's a couple that aren't, like the flail runner guy, which I can't buy right now, but he kind of whips his tail around. He's kind of cool. Um, but mounts are going to work. You're going to have your basic mounts. You're going to have world drop mounts. And then all the cosmetics are just skins that you can apply to the mounts that you get. But they give you no advantage or anything like that. Hey, look, it's Payo again. Uh, then we got Siege Gear, which gives you some really expensive gear for if there's Castle Sieges and Arcane Tome. I want to use a book. But I'm not going to go through all the vendors. You get the idea. Anyways, behind all of these vendors right here, we have town hall which in here this is where you can run for mayor if i didn't know i had a quest in here run for mayor you can see the current tax rate which is set at zero percent uh you gotta buy a house to become a citizen but yeah and then you gotta be a citizen to run for mayor so the full like housing government things isn't implemented either which doesn't doesn't really mean anything right now and there's an apartment manager over here i'd love to buy an apartment for 2500 gold i don't have that much money guild master where you can create a goal guild for 500 gold and then there are these little plots right here of land for sale where the mayor can build various buildings in the node to like upgrade the features so like he could build a blacksmith or he could build a alchemist or you know things like that to help improve the node and also makes every node a bit different so if you're looking for a certain thing like you want a high level blacksmith to build that armor that you want you would need to go to a node that has that high level blacksmith not every single node is going to have it but these land plots are also all can be built up into buildings <clears throat> if you come back here there are houses you can buy if you have the money you buy a house these are all that one's already bought somebody lives here i'm in somebody's house and you can see right now they're all pre-furnished because it's alpha, so it just gives you an idea. In the final version of the game, you'll be able to build your own furniture and place your own furniture and make it your house how you want it. And all the furniture will be interactable, so you can just sit down on a couch, you can lay down in a bed, things like that. I think there's a bathtub somewhere where you can take a bath in. Nope. Oh, right there. This is this guy's bathtub right next to the dining room table. 
Great place to take a bath. Especially if you have visitors over. Anyways, going out here, so let's look at buying a house. When you buy a house, it gives you all these amenities, so it doesn't actually tell you what these mean right now. 25,000 gold to buy this house. Oh, we're right here. Additional storage, farmable land, and adv advances when the city advances. Players may allow their family members to access this home as well. There will be a family system in the final game too, where you can mark people as family and they can use some of your stuff. And there might be like a family teleport, they've said, and things like that. But this is basically it for your node right now. This is your alpha one, it's village stage node. It gives you everything you need for the alpha. It gives you all the vendors, create armor and buy armor and craft potions and things like that. You can also go into literally any house. I don't know if that's something you will be able to change later on. So if somebody owns the house, you could be like, uh, don't let random people inside, you know? Cause I wouldn't want somebody wandering into my home. And these homes are non-instanced, so they're always going to be in the node. As the node develops, the houses will develop too, and they will become bigger and more upgraded houses if you get them in the first stage. So the ones that appear in the stage three are going to be the mansions when it hits Metropolis stage. So if you want to buy one of those houses and you want to live in a mansion in Ashes, you got to buy it quick. You got to be ready when that node levels up. But yeah, this is your Alpha One node. What are your thoughts on the nodes right now? Obviously, there's a lot more node work to happen, and I have a lot of node videos up on the channel if you want to learn a lot more about how these things will work in the end. This just give you a brief tour, so let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the node, and if you're new to Ashes at all and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.